Have you guys ever watched Ready Player One? I have watched this movie three times when I was in Japan. I really loved this movie. I'm gonna watch it one more time. This movie is a great example of everything that Mark Zuckerberg has been talking about. You know, the guy who created Facebook and who also has links with Instagram and WhatsApp. He's talking about the globalization, the unification of all the social networks into one single purpose. For us who are familiar with the prophecies, it's about brainwashing mankind and preparing an environment where people are already used to this virtual world and can worship an image created by humans. That image will represent the United Nations, which God calls the beast. That's why in Revelation, it's referred to as the image of the beast, right? The metaverse. To boil this down really simply, since I'll be discussing this idea more, it's about augmented reality. Virtual reality that's been enhanced. Everything's enhanced. Everything we have today, it's all a combination of the concepts we already have. Internet of Things, Internet, Advanced Technology, all of it combined and enhanced, just like The Matrix has shown us. But other movies have depicted it more accurately, like Ready Player One. If you haven't watched it already, you should, because it seems like a fantasy, something that can't happen, but I'll show you through prophecies that indeed it could. So the metaverse augmented reality, it's a combination of various concepts, internet reality, internet of things, like a reality that's been supersized. Enhanced virtual reality, that's the key. But if it's virtual, then it's not real, right? If it's real, it can't be virtual. But for the average person, the truth is that the virtual world is becoming the real world, while the real world is becoming outdated, passé, and dull. This is how the spirit of the Antichrist is manipulating the world, twisting people's minds to accept what is yet to come, right? Most people can't see the dark side of technology, can't see the negatives, because there are definitely perks, we can't deny that. But in the kingdom of Christ, these won't exist, because to have technology, you need energy. And to have energy means there has to be labor, which really is just slavery. You might not have thought about what it takes for a car or an airplane to exist. None of these things will exist in the kingdom of Christ because they turn us into slaves and make us forget the Lord. Meanwhile, most people, they are eager for this new reality, thinking about the profits, the money, which is just bizarre but trendy, right? It's a trend because it's going to happen. The metaverse concept is intertwined with transhumanism. In fact, they're pretty much the same thing. They're not exactly the same thing, but they're almost there. Transhumanism is about transcending human limits. All the things that humans just cannot do. Then with the help of energy, technology, internet, that's linked with human actions, that's transhumanism. You can transcend human limits. It's totally against God, because people are increasingly becoming attached to metal. One way or another, humanity is linked with metal. What do I mean? We're dependent on oil. We're dependent on globalization. For instance, I used to work in a factory in Japan for a long time, and it was machines everywhere. Drilling machines, forklifts, pressing machines, iron production. And we're talking about the construction of this world and the legs of the statue made of iron all the way to the toes, but also with the introduction of clay in the feet, right? For this world to exist, it's not just about the raw iron itself. The iron gets more and more refined until it becomes machines and then technology. Mark Zuckerberg promises this and actually he already showed through Facebook that what he talked about and what he did years ago, the idea that started in his dorm room, has already come to pass and gone beyond. So Facebook is changing its name and even the symbol is interesting. Metaverse beyond the universe. The devil is always finding a way to change and mess with the things God created and create his own system. There's a purpose for all of this, right? The Apocalypse prophesizes this. It's the cherry on top. It takes all the texts from the prophets I mentioned, like Daniel, Zechariah, and Ezekiel, and puts them all in chapters 11, 12, 13, but also appears in Revelation 17. So the virtual world called the Metaverse is being proposed by Mark Zuckerberg. And when you look at the proposals, it seems like it won't happen. Even skeptics think it's far off because the creator himself, I mean Mark Zuckerberg, says it's still far off, but it will happen, and some believe it while others don't. But we know it's going to happen because this is the path towards fulfilling God's prophecy in Revelation 13 about people creating an image for the beast. It's not just about the mark, it's about the image. The image receives the breath of life. Just think about how a created image will receive the breath of life. Transhumanism is already here, connecting man, the clay, to iron, fulfilling even the deepest prophecies God left for us. 
in the feet of the statue and directly connected to Revelation 11, 12, and 13. A beast represents kingdoms. A corporation of united beasts and ancient kingdoms revived, but now with the power of technology and the virtual world in their hands, absolute control. Humans create an image for the beast, an image related to transhumanism that has the power to control who worships the beast or not. The beast is one thing, the image of the beast is another, and the mark is another. But they're all connected for a single purpose, to control people. It's all related to buying and selling, eating and drinking. All of this is already a reality today. In the next videos, I'll be talking in more detail about these things.